Run it up, Kel. What's up, guys? Good morning. Today, we are going to go thrift. And this whole week, we're thrifting. Got to get a lot of good stuff this week, hopefully. Um, we have a couple big things coming up. We have a whatnot show on Tuesday. And then this week, I have been posting a ton on Depop. I was able to make it almost to under top 100. I'm like 113th or something like that in the world, which is amazing. So thank you guys so much if you guys went and checked out the Depop shop, bought something, gave some likes, whatever it is. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. If you guys haven't seen my last video, it is about Depop tips and tricks. Believe me, if you guys sell on Depop full-time, part-time, whatever it is, if you guys only post one thing a week, go check that video out because I do think it is very beneficial for you if you do sell on Depop. And uh, shout out Auto Posture. You guys made sure to look that out too and hit that link down in the description below because it'll give you guys like 10 to 15% off your Auto Posture monthly subscription. With all that being said, we are heading out now. I have to go. I'm going to go to my local spot, my local Goodwill, um, and just hit there really quickly on a Monday morning. And then we have have dozens and dozens of shipping labels to pick up from the storage unit i've already packed up like 20 orders that i had at my house that i posted this last couple days but yeah we're gonna go over there and get that done too so yeah let's go hit the goodwill see what we can find hopefully some goodies it's a monday so you never know what to expect all right y'all first stop of the week we got the american eagle cargo track pants great outdoors wear and just casual in general then we got a nice pair of levi's carpenters nice light wash good fade the Grandma Rocks Crow Neck. I sell stuff like this in the flea market and on Depop pretty well. The Nike and the Fam of the Opera. Just a couple lower end t-shirts. I like this one. The Indianapolis Museum of Art. Really cool little floral t-shirt. With the Pike Place Market. From Seattle. I like that one a lot. Then we got the Asana. New brand to look out for. But this one sold really quickly within a day. And at this stop we got the Rolling Stones 2000s t-shirt. Really good fade on that one. Another one, I believe these were all from 2006, but yeah, good pickup. Love finding those types of t-shirts. Then we got the Alaska with the 80s Abate. Cool little Harley Davidson t-shirt there. I believe it's 87. I like that one a lot. The Led Zeppelin, another one of those 2000 shirts. I think they all came out at the same time. Then we got some women's pieces there. Both of those have sold already, I believe. Nice little t-shirt for Charlie, and then a beautiful kuji esque sweater. It's not kuji but this one, I think I can still get around 50 60 bucks for. At this stop, we got the Polo Ralph Lauren quarter zip sweater with the Perry Ellis sweatpants. More and one sweats. I find a lot of those throughout this video. I think I grabbed four pairs. Then we got the Eddie Bauer hoodie. Nice fade on that one. With the Wabash College crew neck. It's a local college. Sells really well in my hometown. Then we got a nice fall sweater. With the FUBU sweater, I like that one a lot. Good 2000s brand. Some t-shirts. Nice little cream colorway. And then we got the Jerry Garcia. Beautiful one from 1991, I believe. But yeah, front and back hit. Gotta love it. Don't find much Grateful Dead anymore. At this stop, we got the Gymshark hoodie. Great brand to look out for. It doesn't sell well online, but it does sell well in the flea market. Then we got another modern hoodie with a Tennessee Mitchell and S sweater. The Abercrombie & Fitch, another brand I sell really well on Depop, actually. This great hoodie right here sold for $30 the same day. We got a nice little Zara piece with some women's vintage shorts. Easy sellers. At this stop, we got two pairs of Patagonia pants. Don't see a lot of those. Those are pretty nice ones there. And then a good blue pair as well. Easy sellers for about $25. Bucks. We got the BDG pants. I like that colorway. Good wide leg design. Then we got the Fall Nature t-shirt. Those sell really well in the flea market. I believe that one sold for 10 bucks already. Then we got the Nike Navy Essential. Always picking those up. Quick sellers on Depop. Mount Rushmore tee. Good 80s one. Then we got some true vintage button-ups here. I think these are 60s or 70s. Really cool striping. I like it a lot. Good tags as well. At this stop, we got the Burn Winter Coat. I've been picking up these because they sell really well in the fall winter. Got the Abercrombie and Fitch. Nice little vintage 2000s denim. Some good Nike shorts there. The Jordan hoodie, again, I sell these really well in the flea market around this time of year. We have the San Diego t-shirt with the Fox jersey. Cool Juice World merch. Don't pick up a lot of this stuff I see, but these are really clean and good condition, so I picked them up. We got a nice little pickup truck t-shirt and a hard rock tee. Classic. We struck a little gold at a garage sale. Brand new spot. He brought out a bunch of t-shirts for me and uh, 
So I gotta get the GoPro. Pretty good stuff. As I'm editing, I'm realizing someone stole this out of my pile. It's the only t-shirt that was stolen out of my pile. It was thrashed out, but whoever did that, big middle finger. This is sad. That is sad. Ooh, guys, that was a pretty wild garage sale. That's definitely one of the most wild garage sales I've ever been to in my entire life. Just the range of stuff. These people were collectors. They had two toys slash collectible stores in the 90s. I found a lot of 60s, 70s, 80s kids clothes. And then a couple of nice 90s t-shirts. Now, almost all the adult shirts were like thrashed, holy, um, kind of gross. They were shop rags in the garage that I found in a box. Uh, but Buddy told me he had some other cool band t-shirts and stuff that he just doesn't know where they're at. So I gave him my number. Hopefully that leads to a lead, but most of the time it doesn't. Nice little garage sale stop for the early morning Thursday. Back at the thrifts. This was after I left the garage sale, literally five minutes away from the house. And uh, great haul here. I got a lot of good t-shirts, some vintage ones, 2000s. This one's kind of wild, Big Mac. So solid riders. Don't know what that is, but cool long sleeve. And then we got a bunch of Y2K denim here. Right when I walked in, the lady brought out a new car and I saw this patch on the back of those Paris jeans. But yeah, walked in, they're all a little bit bigger sizing, like 38 to 40, but they still sell really well for me on Depop. And to pay around $3.99 to $7.99 a pair, had to do it. And this is a spot where I know a lot of resellers go throughout the week. So to walk in and find some of this stuff on the racks and some of it coming out on new racks was really nice and surprising. And after that garage sale, honestly, I felt like I had good energy behind me. And uh, yeah, I was very happy. These New York Yankees ones sold within the day of posting. Some Rockaway track pants. Good Patagonia. Then this Colts crew neck. I found this one a couple times, but it sells really well. Got a nice true vintage denim jacket here. 60s, 70s, good one. New school liquid blue tee. And this nice wolf wool jacket. At this stop, we got the Nike quarter zip. Good 2000s one. The Adidas Vintage Track Pants. Some Dickies. I ended up leaving these. I've been leaving Dickies behind recently. Just don't sell the best for me. Then we got some cargo jorts. A couple t-shirts. Good 2000s ones. The Orange County Choppers. Band, a brand that I always pick up and it sells really well. The Mitchell and S Shack t-shirt. Thought it was cool. Love this one. This one might stay in my personal collection if it fits, but I don't know if it will. But then we got the 1994 Green Bay Packers t-shirt and this Janko jeans hoodie. Both of these sold in the What Not Live I had last week. And uh, yeah, got a good amount for them. And I was very happy. But Janko jeans hoodie, just don't see it anymore. Then at this stop, we got the Nike track pants in a size small. Those sold very quickly. Nice pair of jeans there. Good light wash. The 2000s twofer. I love this one. The polo with the thermal underneath. Cannot beat that. That is style. The sassy, nice little Boston Terrier crew neck. The North Face Brown label. Love that one. Good women's piece. 
And the Vintage Brickyard 400 crew neck. Then we got the Witchy Cat Long Sleeve Woman's Top. With this really cool 50s, 60s crew neck. I haven't found this one before, and the name tag had me really thrown off, but I'm glad I grabbed it. And this shirt is hilarious. Had to get it. It was just too funny. Then at this stop, we got the Columbia Denim Jorts. Always picking those up all times of the year. The Carhartt Quarter Zip with the Polo Quarter Zip in a good colorway. Then we got the Travis Scott merch. Happy to pick that up. Good cactus jack on the sleeve. Easy seller. I think I can get around 40 50 bucks for it. And for $4.99, you can't beat it. And at this stop, we got the silver tab and a good dark wash. Those that might have already sold on Depop, I cannot remember. Then we got the North Face, some nice short shorts with a Nike hoodie. I like that one a lot, Challenge Court. Then we got the Fox Riders Sasquatch hoodie. Easy seller for around that $100 mark. I think I can sell it for around $80, so good pickup with the platforms. This stop didn't really provide, but it did give me two cool pieces. The ODM Skull Flamer Long Sleeve. Easy seller for $30. I think it already sold. Then we got the Nike ACG Cool Sandals. And at this stop, we got the Camo Double Knee Pants. Love those. The Mossy Oak. Two of these fake Toon Squad jerseys. Easy sellers in the flea market for around 15 bucks. Then we got the Aztec Cool Little Native American shirt. You guys can read this one. Very funny, so I had to pick it up. With the Affliction. We got a nice Arizona fader. I like that one a lot. The Beer 2000s one. Funny little quote. With the Reddit t-shirt. The Oakley Fader, nice faded out shirt, and the Harmony Floral Hearts, gotta love it. The 1999 AFC East Champions and the Tony Stewart NASCAR t-shirt. Then at this stop, got some goodies, the Patagonia Vest, and a Tina Turner 2000s, really nice tour t-shirt. Had this one a couple times, and I found it a couple times, but uh, yeah, haven't seen it in a couple years. Then with the Jeff Gordon Thunder Lightning, good Carhartt hoodie. This one ended up leaving. They wanted like 15 bucks for it, and someone did this themselves. I don't know. I just didn't know what I could sell it for. Then we got the Senior Frogs denim jacket. Good embroidery on the back. New School Grateful Dead tee. The Las Vegas Thick Crew Neck. Easy seller for me. Then at Mazzoni, a brand I've never heard of, but it's like a $300 sweater. Then we got the Anvil Sea Dog. Nice fader. And the Golf Tyler the Creator with Gymshark. And some Jordan Baggy Sweats. Some Adidas track pants to end that one off. And at this stop, we get the French Connection baby top. The Albert Einstein. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, it was a local high school t-shirt, but I still picked it up. The Indiana all over print tee. Then we got a really cool 70s band tee. Don't really find these much, but cool Kansas Tour 77-78 t-shirt with the Billionaire Boys Club. Nice little racing shirt for the flea market. And this Reese's one, that one ran on whatnot. Lonely Ghost, good brand to look out for. Sells for around 15 20 bucks. Then we got the Urban Outfitters piece and a Carhartt hoodie. Then we got the Nike Center Check, two of those in a pink and black. Then we got a nice funny shirt for the flea market. Those always sell well with a Rat Fink 2000s t shirt. Some good, nice convertible pants for hiking. And a Tommy Hilfiger low rise jeans with a pair of Levi's low rise, good women's pairs. Then we got a pair of Carhartt Carpenters. Always picking those up no matter what the wash and size is. Some hippie indie pants. Ended up giving those to Kate to sell. All right, guys. We are back home after a crazy week of garage sales and thrifting. I found more this week than I have in a really long time. And there's a lot of good finds that you guys saw in the video. If you're interested in anything that I put in this video, it's either going to be sold on my Depop or my whatnot. I'll put my Depop right here and my Instagram right here. And my Instagram, you guys make sure to follow that as well because I do post everything first on there. So first dibs is on Instagram. As well, I try to do weekly live streams. Recently, it's been bi-weekly because I've been trying to put a lot of good product in these whatnot lives. So if you guys are interested in whatnot shows where you guys can get some really good pieces for a good price, make sure to check out that link down in the description below i can thoroughly say that i enjoyed this week of thrifting i found so much good stuff and i'm so grateful for that because it is back to school shopping time and the summer slump but if you did enjoy this video and you haven't hit the subscribe button please do that and if it's your first time checking out my channel then make sure to check out all of my other videos i have about 70 just like this so yeah i think we're going to end this off right here thank you guys for watching make sure to bookmark my next whatnot show it's going to be a really cool one with a lot of the cool t-shirts you guys saw in this video i'll catch you guys next week with another trip to the thrift and whatever the week has in store for me peace got a fake i can't even trust them when they bang it got a lot of change but i'm still not changing don't call me the link up i ain't hanging fold deep no strap niggas playing if rap don't work then it's back to the basics niggas to my swag i ain't mad i ain't racing don't believe the